ladies and gents, I am so turned right now because it is my birthday in 30 minutes and I have another birthday makeup tutorial for you guys. So I created this fun eyeshadow look. I use blue and rose gold on the lid, lashes of course. I have blush on my cheeks, highlight. I contoured a little bit and I went with a pinky nude lip. And I did use some affordable makeup products from Shaney Cosmetics today to achieve this look. I used several of their eyeshadows, concealer, and also their blush. So I definitely recommend this seven layer all-in-one makeup set because basically you can complete a full makeup look with this set. I'm going to show you guys some of the products that I use in this tutorial today. So this is the concealer palette and as you can see it has a wide variety of shades for different skin tones. I did use this shade right here to highlight and it's surprisingly super creamy and it does not crease. I absolutely love this for highlighting and you could use it to contour as well. I also used this blush palette and I went with this coral orange blush just because y'all know how I feel about orange blush and this has a slight shimmer to it and that's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now it's giving me such a gorgeous glow so I love this blush palette they're super pigmented colors and they work for darker skin tones as well as lighter skin tones and I use several of their eyeshadows and they have four different eyeshadow palettes within that seven layer and I worked with two the two that I use today are these blue shades and I also worked with some of the neutral shades, but I will show you each shade that I use in the makeup tutorial. So if you wanna check out any of the makeup products that I use from Shaney Cosmetics, I will definitely have a link down below for you guys and I'll see if I can get a discount code for you guys as well. So if you would like to see how I achieve this full look, then definitely stay tuned guys. So let's get into this birthday makeup tutorial. We're first gonna start off by priming our face and I'm using a mattifying primer because I have very oily skin. So this is gonna make sure that the foundation glides on very smooth and it lasts all day long. Next, I'm going in with a makeup primer spray. You can skip this step, but y'all know I'm super extra, so I like to have my skin nice and primed for foundation. You definitely don't wanna neglect your under eye area, so I'm also going in with the under eye primer, and this is going to help fill in those fine lines so that concealer actually glides on very smooth and you won't be able to see those fine lines under the eyes. Now it's time to even out our skin tone and I'm using one of my favorite foundations at the moment which is the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation and I'm using the shade NW50 and this foundation is perfect for oily skin especially if you're looking for something long wearing and something that's waterproof, I definitely recommend you check it out. Now that our foundation is done, I'm going in with a highlighting concealer and I'm using one from my Shiny Cosmetics Masterpiece 7 Layers All-in-One Makeup Set. And this shade is perfect for highlighting and it blends so flawlessly. I love it and it did not crease on me whatsoever. So if you are a makeup artist or you just like having a lot of concealer, I definitely recommend this makeup set for you because the concealer is bomb. And I always get asked whether I'm using this with a wet beauty blender, and yes, it is a bit damp. Like, barely any water is on it, but it is damp, and that's what's going to help you blend out the concealer. And I also go back in with my foundation brush just to blend out the edges flawlessly. Now it's time to set that concealer in place with a yellow tone powder, and this is going to further help highlight the skin. I like to bake the powder on my skin for 5 to 10 minutes, then I'll go in and I'll wipe away the excess powder.
Now it's time to set our foundation in place with a corresponding powder and I'm using this all over my skin on the places that I did not highlight first and then I go over the places that I highlighted just to make it not look as harsh. Now it's time to get these eyebrows on fleek. I am using a gel for my brows today and I'm using a dark brown first because I have barely any brows. Next, I'm going in with a more warm toned brown at the front of my brow just to give it a more gradient effect. I'm going back in with that Shaney Cosmetics concealer underneath my eyebrows to highlight them and just to make my brows look more sharp. Now it's time to do the eyeshadow, which is the fun part. I'm going in with the Shaney Cosmetics eyeshadow. This is a matte beige eyeshadow, and I'm applying this right underneath my brow bone all the way to the lid. Next, I'm going in with this matte blue, and this one is from the Shaney Cosmetics Masterpiece 7 Layers All-in-One Makeup Set as well. All my eyeshadows are going to be from this palette and I'm applying it in my crease. As you can see, it does look kind of crazy, but trust me, it's gonna get together. Next, I'm taking this darker shimmery blue, and this is from the Shady Cosmetics Masterpiece 7 Layers Makeup Set as well, and I'm applying this to my outer crease and my outer V area. I really wanted to give the eyeshadow color that we're going to apply to the lid something to stick to, so I'm applying this glitter glue shadow insurance to my lid area. Next, I'm going in with this shimmery eyeshadow from my Shaney Cosmetics Masterpiece 7 Layers Makeup Set, and I'm applying this all over the lid. As you can see, it looks super pigmented because the color is vibrant on its own, but when you apply it with a nice primer, it's everything. Now I'm going back in with that shimmery blue eyeshadow that we applied in the outer V before we applied that lid color. Y'all already know how I feel about wing liner, especially for a birthday look, so I'm doing wing liner with a liquid eyeliner pen. Next, I'm applying a deep till eyeliner to my lower lash line. And I'm setting that eyeliner with the color that we placed in the crease area from the Shaney Cosmetics Masterpiece 7 Layers Makeup Set. Y'all know how much I love stacking my false lashes, so I'm applying two Ardell lashes to my lash line area. Next, I'm gonna clean up under my eye area and highlight with a yellow tone powder. And I'm going to contour my nose and my cheekbones.
Y'all know how I feel about highlighter. I can never have enough. I'm going to illuminate my skin with a little bit of highlighter. And this one is going on my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and also above my lip area. Now it's time to warm up the skin with blush. I'm going in with this shimmery coral blush from Shaney Cosmetics. I want to do a nude lip today, so I'm going in with this brown lip liner. Now I'm going to apply this matte nude lipstick on top. I wanted my lips to have a bit of sheen, so I'm going in with this nude lip gloss. Next, I'm going to apply loads of mascara to my lower lashes. And to make the look last all day and night for our birthday, we're going in with a makeup setting spray. So I hope that you all enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you did, definitely thumbs it up. I have one or two more birthday looks coming for you guys, so definitely stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that subscribe now button right there, and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.